living free from our failures. Every person experiences failures. Some people's failures may be become publicly known. Others are, are very private. But to many people, it, the, the failure is not just an event locked up at, a, at some time, whether it's, it's 10 weeks ago or 10 years ago or 30 years ago. It is something that attaches itself to the person. It, 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 it comes with, with a stigma. It comes with a regret. And sometimes people experience failures and, and that failure stays with them for the rest of their life. Even though maybe people around you have forgotten it or, or, or it's a distant memory, sometimes to the person who was at the center of that failure, the stigma of it and the regret of it stays with them every day of their life. This is not God's plan. You know, failure can be like a, a cloud, a dark cloud that hangs over you and, and you have those questions in your mind perpetually or, or, or the idea that I'll, I'll never be what I could have been. If only that hadn't happened, my life could have been so different or, or I think I missed God. If only I hadn't made that mistake. If only I hadn't invested in that area. If only I hadn't failed in my marriage. If only I hadn't failed as a parent, as an employer. If, if only I hadn't failed. Oh, I, I wish there could be a do-over. I, I, but you know, there are no do-overs. So when we talk about living free from failure, we're not talking about that we're going to go back and relive that. No, whatever happened, happened. I'm talking about the after effects, which are often a profound insecurity, a guilt, shame, questioning your identity, questioning self-worth, questioning who, who, you know, how could I have done that? What kind of person am I that could have, have failed like that? Jesus has a word for every person who has failed, which means he has a word for every human being.